we uh, yeah we're a band and we um, <laughs> we have this uh, we've been working on this song for a while but it kind of got st stuck uh, with it and then was it you Yukimi who had this brilliant, brilliant idea of letting yeah. someone else yeah like my friend uh, save it yeah then they they call me send me an email and said could you take this track that we had that we kind of worked around with it, but we're just trying to invite some other people to work on it. And I was like, of course I want to say yes, I'm a huge Little Dragon fan, but also I think they're brilliant. So I really didn't want to touch anything that they do. And so it took me a while to, um, to embrace the idea, but then I did um, and they liked it. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we loved it. Yeah. And and we had an idea of um, bringing in Faith Evans as well, which is kind of crazy. Fantasy idea. Yeah. yeah. She's a huge um, inspiration. And for me, vocally, like someone that I listened to a lot um, all the way through high school, I tried to sound like her and realized that I will never sound like her. So let me try to sound like myself. But uh, yeah, to, to be on the same track as her is like, um, it's a dream come true, actually. Yeah. And to have Raphael on this track as well is like yeah. really special. And how do you, um, how do you, how do, how do you know Raphael? Because you've collab, I mean, you've collaborated together once before. Um, you were on one of his tracks, but I think, how, how did you find I think I found you guys. Yeah, yeah, Raphael. Well, we found, we found Raphael. I think yeah. I found well, mute, through we Tony, found, yeah. Tony, 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 yeah. <laughs> But I, I think I found them too. I think I heard them and I was just like, who is this group? And so then I just start, you know, uh, just following them, like different shows, checking them out in Echo Park and different shows and learning different songs. I was really like uh, intrigued by um, the the analog keyboard work and the drums and the sounds and, and the vocal, the mix of everything. I was really intrigued by that. So I was going through this, uh, this crisis of music and, and then sometimes you hear different people and then it's sort of a furthers what you want to do with your career. So they were one of the groups and then Organized Noise from Outkast was two of the things that I listened to to like sort of like form oh. some of my music. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> it's true though. Yeah, and I think, uh, I don't know how many years ago, but we, we've been here before. Yeah. That was, uh, for us, for growing up in Gothenburg, listening to Rafa Sadiq, uh, Tribe Called Quest, D'Angelo, and I think we're so much into this. So going to America and actually experience it in, in real time is... Uh, yeah, that inspiration bounces. Yeah, you know? it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. Meeting someone that's inspired you and yeah talking to them <laughs> and they talk back yes <laughs> pretty it's, cool. it's, it's, it's weird they want to be over here and i want to be over there yeah. 